Hey guys, I'm Rachel and Gome. I lost 80 pounds after I had my son. Now I empower women to live fit and free. And now I'm gonna be talking to you about eight foods that you think are healthy, but they're really not. So if you're eating these foods, you might want to swap it out with some healthier alternatives that I'll be talking about. All right, so the first food, and if you've eaten any of these thinking they're healthy, comment below, because we're gonna talk about it. Um, the first food that you probably should avoid, or at least have in moderation. So I'm a big fan of moderation for everything. Um, so you can totally include any of these things in moderation, but just know that they're not as healthy as you think they are, okay? So the first one is whole wheat bread. So um, if you're in America, most of the wheat here is sprayed with Roundup. Poison, basically. So a lot of people think they're sensitive to gluten, but really you're sensitive to the Roundup that was sprayed on it. So if you're gonna have wheat, definitely get organic, um, like have organic bread. Second thing is that whole wheat, whole grain, all of that, it's gonna spike your insulin levels. And so there's actually a chart. Um, you can see the glycemic index and how much wheat raises your insulin levels comparatively to like a Snickers bar. And it raises your, spikes your insulin more than Snickers, which is crazy. Um, so eat less bread, less wheat, less pasta, okay? Second thing is dried fruit. Who here has been eating dried fruit thinking that it's a healthy option? Anybody? Um, so you want to make sure that you're eating the whole fruit because when they're drying the fruit, obviously it's going to be way more condensed, way more calorie dense. And so you can have an apple for what, like 80 calories and then dried apple is going to be, um, you know, you're, you can have very little of it for the same amount of calories, right? And plus it's going to have more sugar. And a lot of times they even add sugar to dried fruit, which I'm like, why? It's sweet enough already. So just eat real fruit. If you're going to have dried fruit, just like moderation and just know that it's not a healthier option. And it's most likely going to be a calorie bomb so just portion out like a small amount um and don't eat it every day third thing is sports drinks so you guys most people when you're working out and if unless you're working out for like more than an hour and you're going crazy and you're sweating buckets you don't need sports drinks you can just drink water the only time i've really ever had sports drinks is when i was doing doubles in college for volleyball so i was working out like six to eight hours a day in a hot gym in the summer and i was like we would literally soak through i'm not even joking like five shirts in a practice like it was just insane and we were like slipping on each other's sweat it was so gross um but that's the only time i've really ever had sports drinks if i'm just doing like a regular workout i only drink water um sometimes i'll have energized before workout and if it's a really tough workout i'll have some hydrate too um but that's i think it's like like 40 calories a serving with way less sugar than a regular sports drink. Prepared salads or like salads at a restaurant. Oh my god, so we were at TGI Fridays this past weekend when we were on a girl spa trip and the sal they have the calorie counts on the menu. Hallelujah, they didn't used to, so most people will just like they won't even think about it, right? One of the salads at TJ Fridays has over 1,200 calories in it. That's almost a day's worth of calories in a salad that most people think is healthy, right? And all the other salads had between 600 to 900 calories in them. I'm like, oh my God, there was nothing that was like a healthy option at TJ Fridays. I was shocked. What I ended up doing was getting one of the lighter salads and then I got it without the high calorie candied nuts and I got the dressing on the side. So if you're gonna get a prepared salad, just beware if it has like candied nuts and creamy dressing and bacon bits and tortilla strips and all of these like high high calorie options it's it's gonna be it's gonna be high in calories right so just know that and be aware um fruit juice kind of the same thing as dried fruit right so it you're much better off just eating food in its most most natural state so just eating the apples so you're actually getting the fiber as opposed to drinking the apple juice okay so if you're someone that's drinking a lot of juice and you're wondering why you're not losing weight swap the juice with water because one cup of juice can have like 100 calories in it right over the course of a year you can lose 10 pounds just by swapping that one cup of juice with water all right gluten-free sugar-free fat free foods think chemical shitstorm all right so anytime that you're being marketed something so let's say the like it's on the package or whatever it's saying it's gluten-free or it's fat-free or it's like heart healthy, 
it's going to mean that it's probably processed because you don't see those claims on like an avocado or spinach, right? Um, so anytime they're like taking out gluten, they're adding in some kind of filler preservative something. Anytime they're taking out sugar, they're adding artificial sugar and it doesn't taste as good. Anytime they're taking out fat, they're adding more sugar. So just eat the real food and eat it in moderation. Have a piece of high quality dark chocolate as opposed to sugar-free chocolate, which tastes like garbage. I would much rather have the dark chocolate, right? Um, smoothies. Who here thinks that smoothies are a healthy option? So if you're going to a place like Jamba Juice, I actually, you can go to their website and look up the nutritional information. So one, let me find it. Let me, let me find it. It was one, it was one of like the healthier ones. A medium sized strawberry surf rider has 90 eight grams of sugar in it. I was like, oh my freaking God. So if you're going to have a smoothie, make it yourself at home with one to two pieces of fruit. Anytime you're going to order a smoothie at like a restaurant or a place like Jamba Juice or a smoothie bar, they're gonna, it's going to be so packed with sugar in it. So first eat the real food, like just eat the fruit. But if you really want a smoothie, make it yourself at home. Um, cause it's insane. Another option that they had, um, gosh, it was like the peanut butter smoothie it has 980 calories and 131 grams of sugar. And right next to it, it has all these marketing terms saying that it's like healthy. So it's saying no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives. It's gluten-free, no high fructose corn syrup, zero grams of trans fats, as well as 2.5 servings of fruit. So this is healthy. Um, um, no, it's not. And the last food that you think is healthy, but it's really not is yogurt. So who here has like Dannon fruit on the bottom yogurt or something like that? Not healthy option. So I, I do like yogurt, but when I get it, it's going to be whole fat yogurt and it's going to be plain. I love um, just plain Greek yogurt that's full fat. I don't get fat for yogurt because anytime, again, anytime it's like man-made stuff, they're changing it. So, and look at, okay, so one six ounce serving of Dannon fruit on the bottom yogurt has 25 grams of sugar in it. You could have two and a half Krispy Kreme donuts for the same amount of sugar. I'm not saying eat the donuts, but I'm just saying if you're getting a fruit flavored yogurt, even if it's marketed as fat free, um, they're going to add a ton of sugar in it. Okay, so just be aware of it. So the eight foods that you think are healthy, but they're really not whole wheat bread, dried fruit, sports drinks, prepared salads, fruit juice, gluten free, sugar free, fat free, chemical shitstorm foods, smoothies, and yogurt. Do you have any of these often? And if you do, are you going to swap them out for something that I talked about? Do I have a super healthy dressing I would recommend? So, okay, most salad dressings, they actually make it with canola oil because if olive oil will become like solid at room temperature. Um, so I don't recommend canola oil. So what I do is I make my own and you can obviously just Google like a healthy salad dressing recipe, but I just use olive oil, vinegar, some herbs, salt, pepper, garlic, mustard, and just shake it up. Plain goat milk yogurt. I don't know if I've ever had goat milk yogurt. I might have. Um, but yes, you definitely want to make sure that you're making your own salad dressing. Um, just look at the ingredients next time you buy salad dressing and look at the list of all the crap that's in there. And you'll be like, oh my God, it's insane. Insane. Do you guys have any questions? I'm happy to answer them for you. Next time I go to the farmer's market, I'm going to try some goat yogurt. That's interesting. <laughs> So which, did any of these surprise you guys? Are you surprised? It's just knowledge, applied knowledge is power. So the more you know, the better you can do. And if the whole thing I talked about wheat, if that interests you, two books that I highly recommend, um, Grain Brain and Wheat Belly. So a lot of people, they have issues with wheat in the States, but they go to like Europe and they're fine eating bread. I'm telling you, like the food in the States, it's really messed up. <laughs> It's really, really messed up. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comment below and I'm happy to answer them for you. I'll make sure to jump back on and um, comment and answer the questions for you. So I hope you have an amazing day. If you found this helpful, make sure to share or tag a friend below. Have an awesome day. Bye guys.